What's on my YouTube comments? <laughs> okay. Uh, how long I did that for? Wow, it's still going. Okay. Um, yeah. We're watching Pokemon whole... Their whole collection. But just to let y'all know, this is ain't all the collection they got. So we're just gonna look through them. See what they have. So let's play. Whoosh. Just to let you know, I ain't gonna be talking that much. So let's play. Whoosh. We have a very, very big package. Yes, a very large package indeed. Yeah. As you guys can see here, the person who sent this paid sixty-three dollars and ninety-three cents to ship this to us. That much in a day of work. Honestly, most of the time the channel doesn't make that much in a day either. But this is just an amazing box. I cannot wait to see what is inside of this thing, but just to give you guys an example of how big this, look how big this box is. Like, there's my hand. You can see how wide it is, how tall it is, how long it is. This thing is humongous. Someone sent us their entire collection of Pokemon cards. Their entire collection. Yeah. <laughs> now, I have no idea what cards are actually in this thing, but I just know that according to the note that is inside of here, that is exactly what they did. Um, you know, I, I always check to make sure what the note is, but I didn't actually open anything, so I don't know what all is going to be in here. But we figured if someone has taken their time and the money to send us their entire collection, it deserves its own video outside of Mega Mailbox. Oh, absolutely. Like, this is a big deal. No one has ever sent us their entire collection before so this is a big deal this is a huge deal indeed um here we go he didn't even put his a return address on the outside which is actually kind of scary because had this gotten lost it wouldn't have had anywhere to go to except for us so it's a good thing that it didn't all right so here is the note guys it says hello professor k and n my name is derek and i'm sending you what could be your largest fcbm ever during the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, I was looking around on YouTube at some of the common Poketubers and came across your channel. Needless to say, I was hooked from the start. From watching your videos, I started buying cards again and I couldn't get enough of it. Pulling a Hollow or EX was what was driving me to keep buying. Unfortunately, Pokemon cards are not cheap and to keep buying them means lots of money and I can't afford to keep buying them. Here's a collection of all the cards, sleeves, pins, figures, counters, and dividers that I own. Each is labeled what they are. You can use the comments and uncommon for bulk trade in for future product. The energy is for you guys to give away tournaments to help the professor duties. The pins, dividers, coins, and counters can be used for whatever you'd like. Reverse hollows, regular hollows, and ultra rare cards are for your guys' collection. The favorite ones are... The favorites are ones I think you might enjoy, and the codes are for future streams you guys do. You don't have to open everything, but definitely open the one labeled open last, and open it based on the sections with the dividers. Thanks for all of your awesome content, and I hope you can keep it coming. I can't wait to see what all you guys have in store for us. Thanks for the great content, Derek. P.S. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards are for N. What? There's even Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, man! <laughs> this guy is going above and beyond. If I forgot to mention anything that was labeled, feel free to do it as you please. Also, I open up a... I have a lot of ads, just to let y'all know. Every TRD, say yes to performance. A box of evolutions and got some misprinted cards. Not sure if they're any value, but if they do, hopefully you can get a good price for them. You'll notice them when you see them. Now, I think I know what he's talking about here, and that would be cards that are holographic, where the hollow extends past the card actually down into the attack box text. If that's the case, then some of those cards are actually fairly valuable, so that would be super awesome. Oh, really? Yes, it would. So, let's go ahead and just get into this thing here. Now, you know, obviously we're not going to name off every card in here, but we are going to go through and... This would literally be at least a five to six hour video. It would be, but you know what? I mean, it okay, would be... We're opening everything. Yeah, we're opening everything. We're just going to kind of go through some of the stuff that's, uh, you know, commons, uncommon, stuff like that. He labeled it all pretty well, so we have a pretty good understanding of what might be in here from the very start. So I'm just going to get everything out of this box, get this box out of the way, and we're going to go through this. He 
piece by piece. I honestly am just so honored that someone has taken the time to send us their entire collection like this. I've never, ever seen anything quite like it. Like, I've seen some some, some amazing generosity from our fans here in the community. But this, this though, is just like, what? Oh, here's a oh. Yeah, a whole collection of cards. Like, unreal. You guys see how much I'm pulling out of this box? It's absolutely crazy how much stuff is in here. So, let's get that. And the final thing is the Yu-Gi-Oh! 10. Whoa, there's a 10? There's a 10. That thing just ran like a sleeve. <laughs> All right. So, we've got commons and uncommons, commons and uncommons, commons and uncommons. I'm trying to get all the other stuff here first. Okay, here's more commons and uncommons. Rares and reverse rares. Favorites. So, we'll probably leave favorites and the open last, obviously, for last. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Put that over there. Put that over there. We're going to actually see if we can fit all this in here. There's some sleeves in this one, it looks like. Some energy. Uh, reverse hollows over here. Dividers and all that good stuff. Codes. Playable sleeve, playable sleeves and the like there. So I guess what we'll start off with first are these jumbo promos. We've got a Mega Deancy EX, a couple of them actually. We got some Flygons. We got Mega Blaze again. <laughs> and a Mega Aerodactyl EX jumbo promo. So those will definitely go in my promo jumbo collection. We also have a Matt here as well. Oh, nice. I think this is the Blaziken one. Yep, that is it. <laughs> Mega Blaziken EX premium collection Matt that comes in that box. Ooh, get away, get away. Still afraid of it after, what is this now, two years? One year, two years? I can't remember now. I think it's been a year, a little over a year, as a matter of fact. So we'll go ahead and put I'm, this. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we'll set this over off to the side. And, boy, where do we even begin? I guess we'll start with these. There's some sleeves and dividers and dice. Like, there's some generations dice. We've got some dividers in here from the 20th Anniversary Elite Trainer Box. We got sleeves. There's the generations. There's the Mega Blastoise Evolutions. There's the Volcanian sleeves. And then we got a bunch of random assortments of sleeves, which we can always use to put hollows and ultra rares in oh, for yeah. our binders. Absolutely. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Always love getting those. All right. Now, um, energy is kind of self-explanatory. So we have all kinds of energy in here. And some of these 20th anniversary uh, little promo things that you get in those boxes. So there's the, ah, there's the Mega Blaziken pin, or coin for you. Mm. <laughs> then we got all of that energy, as we said before. There's some double colorless, some burning energy, some, oh, wow, is this base set? Nope, this evolutions. <laughs> Almost got fooled there. But there's a whole bunch in there, so thank you for that. And let's see here. Um, go over the dividers. Oh, man. Boys Encounters. There's some dice. Steam Siege. Evolutions. More evolutions. Primal Clash. Roaring Skies. More Steam Siege. Um, Breakpoint. Breakthrough. And all the dividers and all the stuff from all of those Elite Trainer boxes. Wow. All right. So... Um, I guess go ahead and start going through the commons and uncommons. You go through two of the boxes. I'll go through two of the boxes. Do I get the one of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, you're going to do that too, of course. I think it's just doing not get out of the way. If you want to. Uh, I still can't believe you sent me a Yu-Gi-Oh! tin. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, we got a link of Burning Up Abyss. Spread for Fusion. Dino Miss Power. <laughs> Okay, there, there's actually some pretty decent stuff in here. Not gonna lie. Nice, nice, very nice. Ooh, very nice indeed. Also nice. What? What? Oh my goodness! Yo, these are actually some pretty decent cards here. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like, Professor K probably has no idea why I'm like this, but I don't because I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh. There is a lot of those are actually some pretty playable cards, so. Oh, awesome. Yeah, thank you for that. And you know what? I'll go 
do this one right here. Comment it on the comment number one. Alright, so you can see here, as, and it says just comments on the comments. I'm just gonna scroll through them just so you guys can see what they are. Oh, crap, it done first. But I'll be sure to point out any of the memorable meme ish Pokemon here. <laughs> meme ish Pokemon. Meme ish Pokemon. Professor. There you go. <laughs> I, I cannot do that for the life of me. <laughs> Alright. No comments. Hello, No. <laughs> I think it was. I didn't see it, but I'm gonna guess it was. Nope. Oh, Bianca! That's what I meant. No oh, comment. Bianca for you. No! <laughs> it's not Bianca. <laughs> Leave me alone. The body pillow says otherwise. Hey, do I look like I can afford a body pillow? You look like the type that would save up for it. Okay, you know me. Do I save up for anything ever? Yes. Why? A Bianca body pillow. <laughs> Knock that stack right out of your hand. <laughs> Alright, so... So let's move on to some more commons and uncommons here. Kind of just do the same thing and did. If anything happens to come across, it catches some attention. I mean, like, Dedenne was playable at one point. Obviously, it's no longer useful anymore. But there's a lot of commons and uncommons here. So there's the Zygarde, which I think actually has pot had potential at some point. Actually, now it'd be fantastic. If you think about it, that Zygarde could be very useful considering how much Eveltal is being played right now. The um, dog form one? Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a little bit high energy cost, but at the same time... It's fighting in a double color. It's only two attachments. It is. It's a fighting in a double colorless, exactly. So. And unless they have a Pokemon Ranger, they can't attack. They can't retaliate against you. Oh, here we go. Verbank City Gym. Ooh! There's a card worth noting. Actually, I'm going to set that one off to the side right now. Chorus Machine as well, believe it or not. I always wonder if Team Plasma will uh, come back at all in the expanded format and be useful again. I mean, it's, uh, sorry, it's fine, I guess Team Plasma is still okay. Yeah, it's still alright, I guess, but it's not what it used to be, that's for sure. I remember the days where Team Plasma would rule everything. Like, there was like almost no way to beat it. There really wasn't. It's kind of like if Eltal Garb is now. But... Not so much anymore. Well, for that, there's plenty of ways to beat that. It's just the ways to beat them can't beat everything else. Yeah, that's the other problem. People are trying, though. Like, Raikou, Raikou can smack that thing. Yeah, but... No, no, Raichu could. Raichu, yeah, that too. But it's having trouble getting, you know, any kind of traction going in the rest of the matchups. Oh, there's another dive ball. That's another good card to have. True. But, uh, you know, there's Dex that's working on it. Vespaquin is teching in now as a so that helps that match up a lot. Well, Vespaquin always has some strike in them. Not always, but, but eh, it's, it's showing up more. I'd say, like, they've been there for a while. Yeah, but it's being played more and more, is what I'm saying, against uh, to counter Evolt all ducks, because it has such a good matchup against it. Alright, that's it for that stack. Um, actually, I was supposed to pick up from this stack now that I think about it. So, lots and lots of cool cards here. Trainers mixed in. I'm trying to catch them as I'm going here, if anything's worth noting. We pulled out some cool um, stadiums and trainer cards so far. Lucky helmets. I feel like I'm going to start dropping that stack, so let me put that over here. Ah. All right. 
Now, I would guess that these Elite Trainer Boxes hold somewhere in the neighborhood of around 800 cards, I think is what I was told. So if you think about it, 8 times 4, um, where's Kevin to do the math again? <laughs> Uh, 3,200 is it? Yeah, 3,200. 3,200 would actually get us at least two booster boxes. So that is a huge help towards uh, getting Sun and Moon base stuff. So, very, very awesome of you to help us out like that. And help us get future content for you guys uh, when that comes out in February. Alright, so that's it for that box. I think I got them all. This is number two. Alright, sorry for bumping the camera on you there. Oh my goodness. These stacks of cards. We don't have a very big table. <laughs> gotta, gotta organize them here. Alright, we got two more boxes of commons and uncommons to go through here. There's that. There's that. I'll do one and then I'll pass it off to you again. Okay. And then we'll start getting on to some of the other stuff here. Alright. Lots and lots of stuff, like from different sets too. It's like I see some Seam Siege here. We saw Furious Fist. We saw some Breakpoint, some Flash Fire. Just all kinds of sets of, uh, of bolt cards. I actually just sent off an order of bolt cards to uh, CCG Castle very recently. They were offering a pretty decent amount, uh, nine cents per common and uncommon. Which I think they're still paying seven cents, which is a good rate, without a doubt, if you want to get cash for the cards. But we definitely want to put these towards product for Sun and Moon, so we'll hold on to these for a while. Not to mention we've got we got more to add to it as well. I don't think we're gonna have a problem at all getting a booster case of Sun and Moon for you guys. I really think it's very possible. Absolutely. Which would be really cool. Like I said that we've never been able to do it before, so I think it'll be very, very attainable this time. What's that, Lucky Helmet? Almost like that starting megaphone every time I see it. Blacksmith. Almost. Almost playable. Unfortunately, it kind of missed its time. Uh, it rotated out when it would have been really, really good. Alright. Keep it going here. I see some Metatites. One time I got to use uh, Metacham really well at a tournament. That was a fun day. Right before rotation occurred, too. There's a Faded Town. We can always use Faded Towns. Oh, there's another one. Hey. Very cool. Alright. One more handful here to go through. And I'll give it back to you, Ed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another Faded Town. All the Faded Towns, though. With Mega Evolution being still relevant in the game. Definitely a good stadium to have. Roski representative top tables. Yep, that too. And Mewtwo. So those are definitely... Still decks to watch out for. There's another starting microphone. Mill Tank. Ah, uh, good old Mill Tank with Empoleon. That was a fun deck. That was like back when we first started the channel too, where I had that deck going. Mill Tank. All right, Maxi's in Baltric. That's another one worth setting aside. Greedy dice. Do you have what it takes to become a monster legend? <laughs> oh man, I'd love to see somebody make that deck work. Hey, there's a Vespaquin, but I've got a lot of Vespaquins already, so don't need to worry about that one. All these cards, man, so generous to send these to us. Really, really appreciate it. All right, and it's back to you again for one more box of the commons and uncommons. All right. So let's see what we yeah, let's see what we gonna start with here. All right, a uh, bunch of like the more mill X Y stuff. So I'm seeing a lot of furious fists here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I miss furious fists. That was like my favorite X Y set. Why right, Lucario? Come back, Lucario. I can't play that steel one. Why, why, Chris? You tried to make it work. I tried, but I can't. It's too bad. It really is. I miss my sweet Prince Lucario EX. Maybe one day we'll get it back. Me Japan got it back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I mean, they never really lost it, though, because they've been playing in standard format for quite some time. We're the only ones with the standard format. Yep. Stupid. Which is funny, because people really don't like the expanded format very much here. Yeah, but... I mean, the only reason people don't like it is Toad and Laser Bank. Yeah, that's part of the problem here, right? That's the whole problem. What are you talking about? Well, Night March, too. Night March is still a thing. Yeah. But, hey, Night March, we have Karen. We haven't gone over this one yet. Have not? Nope. I'm just trying to remember, trying to remember what we haven't gone through yet. Okay. It should just be these. Magic Fish. I feel like saying it like that. Alright. It's kind of funny when you go through so many cards, your hands start to hurt. They do, and the camera can't pick it up too well. Oh, there's another dive ball. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yep, 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 right there. Set that one aside. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like I said, the camera gets a little blurry. It does, but for the most part, people know what the cards are by seeing the pictures of them and such. Yep. Yeah, your hands do start to hurt after this. It's the motion of moving your thumb back and forth over the cards. <laughs> That's all right. We gotta, we, we gotta work for it somehow, right? True that. True. Y'all, they just have Drifloon that I have. The Palfus card. All right, let's play. True that. One more stack before you get into the next ten. <sighs> all right, I got this. You got this, and. I said evolutions. Evolutions. Evolutionaries. Hi, y'all. We the Pokemon Evolutionaries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my name, Professor N. Oh my goodness. And with me is my little assistant, pro assistant Professor K. Who are you calling an assistant? Calling you an assistant, you slack jaw, the weirdo. That description's more fitting for you. <laughs> Shit, at least I'm younger and prettier. You're also a weed. Oh, and you're not? I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm really not. That's, okay, that $200 Bianca's, no, oh, I ruined uh, it. <laughs> that's what you I'll get. I was going to say Bridget. That's what you get. Hey. Keep it up and I'll make you do a 200 card pickup right here. Oh, please don't. That's the last thing we need to do. But yeah, let's make it like 500 No, let's pickup. not make it 3,200 pickup. More than 3,200. Actually, since there's evolutions 52, here. 5,200 pickup. 5,200. It's probably closer to 4,000 bulk now because I didn't realize the evolutions, that's all pretty much common. That all is, that is all commons and uncommons. Yep. So many cards. So much evolution stuff in here. It really is. I mean, you gotta think, it's the most recent set, so probably this is what he's opened the most of. True. True, and my thumb. <laughs> my thumb. Oh, wow, a lot of spirit links are back here. Yeah. And you made it. <laughs> my right. poor thumb. I guess I'll open up the next couple tins here. And also, disclaimer, uh, this is not the Derek you guys are thinking of. It's not Shadow TCG. Yeah, not Shadow TCG, guys. I promise you it's not him. <laughs> this came from across the country, from what I understand, by looking at the zip code. Because, like I said, I don't know the address of where this came from. Because it wasn't in the box. But we got more reverse hollows here. Anything good, I'll definitely be setting aside. Oh, look, it's the slow, slow blow spirit link. Just for you. And you're paying zero attention. <laughs> Wait, what? The slow blow spearling just for you. 
Oh, these are from all different sets. I, I thought we mostly were going to start there with Evolutions, but now I see there's some in here as well. And actually, believe it or not, these Radiant Collection ones don't count as reverses uh, for, for both people. No. Which is kind of ridiculous, but it's just one of their things. They count Radiant Collection cards as a regular uh, common and uncommon, because it's not truly a reverse hollow if there's only one version of it. And they just consider that to be the regular common and um, uncommon. So we'll set all those down there aside. So the only thing I'm thinking was, where are we going to put all these cards? Uh, for now, I guess back in the box. <laughs> so we figure out a plan, because there's a lot of them, and we're going to be storing them for a while. Because obviously bulk trading for evolutions, or evolutions, for uh, X and Y base, isn't going to start up until... Sun and Moon base. What? Sun and Moon base. Well, it's going to start up probably in January. Then X and Y base. Did I say X and Y? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to sort through the cards and not completely lose my train of thought, and I completely lost my train of thought anyways. Yes, Sun and Moon base. Obviously, they're not going to start picking them up until probably mid-January or so. That's when we'll start seeing... Um, Oh, there's another Fated Town. That's when we'll start seeing them come up again, or we can start sending them out, because uh, they like to take them a couple weeks before a set comes out. All right. Getting close to the end here. There's another reading collection card. Going to set that one down. I really also appreciate you for sorting these out this way, because it makes it a lot easier. Sorting all these cards is definitely hard to do once you have them all in front of you, so I greatly appreciate that as well. Really gone the extra mile with that. All right. That's it for the reverse hollows. We'll put these back over here. And then we'll look at... Actually, I'm going to take a break from cards. We're going to look at the playables, sleeves, pins, coins, and figures. Oh, oh there's the Mega Charizard sleeves. That adds to that. And these are playable cards. Uh, we'll go through those first. So we've got some Spirit Links, Wally, Escape Ropes, Acrobike, Super Scoop Up, Robo Substitute, Scorched Earth, Shrine Memories, Force Giant Plants, Hex Maniac. Um, there's Scorched Earth again, Pokemon Center Lady, Imakuni. Hmm, I haven't seen that card actually see any play. That's cool. We got a Battle Compressor, uh, a Robo Substitute Bursting Balloon, some Sycamores, Puzzles of Time, Skyfield, Trainer's Mail, Mega Turbo, some Zerosic, Trump Card, which is actually banned, so I'll actually stick that over here. Nope. No good anymore, unfortunately. Some play excuse me, playable stadiums, Ninja Boys, Focus Sashes, Revitalize. Oh, we got some reverse. There's Ultra Ball. More Imakuni, Fighting Stadium, Professor's Letter. Archie's Ace in the Hole, Captivating Pokepuff. More, oh, Max Elixir Reverse. That's a good one. Absolutely. Switches, Misty's Determination, Brock's Grit. Some more switches. Enhanced Hammer, Giovanni. Maxi's in Ball Trick, EXP Share. Uh, there's Dive Ball, there's another Puzzle of Time, AZ, and then some Night Marchers, Vespaquin, Wobbuffet, Klefki, Ariados, all very playable, so thank you very much for those. We'll be sure to set those off to the side. And let's look at these figures. So we got Charizard here, and also we've got the Blastoise from the uh, red and blue collection boxes with generations in them. We've got our Mega Jumbo Shrimps. There's actually two of them. Here's that. Out of Gyarados boxes. Mega Gyarados boxes. We got some coins and pins, which I'm actually just going to take up a little bit here one at a time. We got Shaman and Swampert. Mega Swampert. We got Jirachi. We got Mega Latios. Another Mega Blaziken. Actually, there's a bunch of Mega Blaziken here. Bye. One, two, three, four of them so far. There's four of them coming for you. <laughs> uh, we got... Mega Aerodactyl. There's that pin. We got some more Swampert and Mega Swampers. There's two of those. There's a Mega Tyranitar pin. Volcanian pin. Oh, there's another Mega Blaze again. That's five of those. A Mega Rayquaza pin. Another Mega Tyranitar pin. We got some. What the heck? Ah! What the heck is. Really? We found him! We found him! We, <laughs> we found Nemo! Wait, wait, wait. Is, is, the, is the fin small? It is. Okay. Yeah. For a second there, I wondered if it was the dad. Marlin. Marlin, yeah. But a cultured swine. It is a little fin. He's got his lucky fin. Got all those. Got some coins here. We got some Fennekin, some oh, Mega Aerodactyl. I find my lucky fin. And also. There. Hey, that was a real high five. <laughs> it was the back of the hand five. That is a high five. True. 
All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have you go through the rares rare and reverse rares. Come on, help me. Ah. Oh. What? What? I just got hurt the way you just twisted. I'm just trying to get out of it. Because I want this video not to have the silly ass in it. Alright. Alright, so she's gonna open up the rares and reverses. Ah, okay. Let's go through this stack here first. Alright, so this seems to be the rares we got. Yep. Oh, wow. These seem to be all from Evolutions, too. So far. Oh, wait. There was a few. Yeah, so far, three of them are not from Evolutions. There we go. Okay, there's the non-Evolution stuff. Wait, so there's Joe Drios running in opposite directions. <laughs> this is from Plasma Storm, and this is from Roaring Skies. That's kind of funny. There's very little difference in artwork. It's actually kind of sad. Just opposite directions. It's it's sad, really. I'm actually a little disappointed in them for this. All right. Put those down. Sorry. Got a burp there. Nice. All right. What? I said sorry. <laughs> All right. So you should go a little slower just so it doesn't blur up the camera. Cause yeah, it, like I said, it blurs the camera a lot for some reason. I don't know why. It's because it's trying to focus. Camera, be like me. Don't ever focus. Ain't that the truth? Don't be too quick to, to, to defend me. <laughs> Got a bunch of dividers there. Yep, I think he was trying to divide the reverse rares. Yep, I was right. This side is all the reverse rares. Except for Starlight Megaphone, that's not a rare. But, oh well. Just pull it out and it says off the side. That was my point in saying that. But it kind of chilled in there. I don't have a problem with Uncommon just chilling with the rares. Yeah, but the person we have to send them to, Will. Fright Night. Oh, Fright Night. That's another one to set off to the side for sure. We need more Fright Well, we needed more Fright Nights. How about Reverse Vespa Quinn? No, we got a bunch of those, so we're good on that. Alright. <laughs> no. Duke Trio! <laughs> I swear, we had, if we don't get a low in Duke Trio in Sun and Moon Base, I'm going to. This is Minecraft Realms. Well, to flip this table with the cards on it. <laughs> All right, you want to open up the one that says favorites? Sure. All right, right back there behind the bat. Ooh, this one's actually. Oh, is it tape shut? Slightly. And I almost opened it up, and it all fell everywhere. Almost. And oh wait a minute, what's this? What's this? Oh! Shaman! Shaman! The adorable hedgehog form! Definitely gonna have to put that to the side. I go fast. <laughs> Alright. Hey, look! Uh, Monkey is our favorite, really. <laughs> Actually, set that auto though aside, too. That's still playable for uh, Flareon. Ooh, Deancy. Reverse Monkey! Gimme! I'm guessing these are channel favorites, except for that Halushi you just dropped. Yep. Oh, that's Ooh. what it is. Okay. Giggity! Monkey! Sparkle Army. Sparkle Army General. No. Lots of Bill Cosby's. Almost everything we see here so far has been a meme on the channel. Just about, yeah. Almost all of them. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like we have one final box. No, no, no. Oh, you saw more. There's I thought still, you grabbed them all. No, there's still a lot more in here. Oh. Hey, look. Hey, ah, Thug Life. Ah. Oh, boy. His favorite Helion tile. That's so cool. I think this is all just his favorite. He's saying favorites for us, like channel stuff. Because everything I'm seeing here, almost everything has channel significance of some kind. You don't have to stop at every Helion tile. I didn't see you stop at every Halucha. See? You just passed one. Oh, you just passed another one. Eee! But you're gonna stop on those. Yes, I am. Get out of here. 
Okay, you open it all by yourself then. <laughs> As he blocks my way. I would just have to be standing behind you. Alright, come on, please, one more healing up tile. But no. <gasps> yes! Hey guys, do you guys do you all want to hear the Helioptile song? No, we won't. <laughs> Go, get out of here. <laughs> all right, one more box here to show to you guys before we close out this video, and that is best cards open last. All right, so let's just set this camera up properly here, and let's see what is in here. So start from this side. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just go to that. Um, yeah. Wait, I'm confused. It says start this side, but they're backwards. Okay. So first we have a Reverse Hollow Lysander's Trump card, which is banned. We got Pidgeots and Kyogres, Dragonite, Eevee, Wally, Jirachi, Deancey, all of these Pokemon. Rainbow Energies, that's pretty I didn't know that card was even banned. Cool. There's an Azel promo. Some Hollows. Some good Hollows, as a matter of fact. Uh, there's a Neveltal, which is very playable. More Hollows. There's that Charizard from Radiant Collection. Really do like that a lot. There's a Raichu Circle Circuit. That's a very playable card. This was once very close to being competitive at one point. Uh, there's a Xerneas, an Entei, Metagross, Ditto, <laughs> the Ditto Chew. I remember that promo. These are from the Voltal vs. Xerneas theme decks. There's an Umbreon and an Eevee. This is from the Sylveon Collection box. Headringer, that's another good card. Huntails, really want to make Powerful Storm work competitively someday. Really sad that it hasn't worked out so far. There's another one out of the Sylveon Collection box. Got more here. Jolteon, Gardevoir. There's a Vivian promo. Oh, there's a Venusaur EX and a Meloetta. So there's two Ultra Rares. More hollows here. Pyroar. Oh, there's another Fright Night Evolts Perfect. That's another good one. Greninja. Got the Shattered Hollow version. We got these two Gyaradoses, which we proved has been a very cool deck to run. All right. Now let's go to here. Oh, man, I already see EXs. Here we go. Meloetta EX. Emolga Full Art. Shaman Full Art. Jirachi Full Art. Oh, wow. There's a lot of Ultra Rares in here. Oh, my goodness. I didn't expect them to start so soon. Blaziken EX. Mega Blaziken EX. Galade EX. Zygarde EX. Thunderous EX. Latios EX. Xerneas. Yveltal. Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl. Deoxys. 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 Hoopa. What? Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Groudon. Kyogre. Charizard EX. Venusaur EX. Blastoise EX. Blastoise EX. Florges Break. Uh, Marowak Break. Radicate Break. Talonflame Break. Chestnut Break. Sylveon EX. Deancey EX. Deancey EX. Gardevoir EX. Sharpedo EX. Malamar EX. Malamar EX. Houndoom EX. Flareon EX. Flareon EX. Mega Manectric EX. Steelix EX. Okay, oh, you're, you're about to make me faint. Glalie. Mega Glalies. Lots of Mega Glalies. Mega Altaria. Agron. Agron. Mega Agron. Mega Ampharos. Thunderous. Heracross. Trevenant. Lu Lucario. There you go. I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't not let you have that one. Kelhio, Rayquaza, Kangaskhan, Machamp, Mewtwo. Old school Mewtwo. Um, the uh, X-Ball one. Groudon EX, another Hoopa. Some Full Art Pikachus. Full, uh, full Art Houndoom. Full Art Mega Houndoom. Full Art Stevens. A couple of them. Full Art Professor, per, Professor Birch. Full Art Karina. Full Art Gardevoir and Gallade right next to each other. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, another Full Art Gallade, Mega Gyarados, Dragonite EX, some uh, Full Art Articunos, Secret Rare, Mega Manectric, Secret Alakazam, Secret, <laughs> Full Art Primal Fish, Full Art Mega Rayquaza EX, Waylord EX, we ain't even done yet, folks. Why? Alright, let's put these dividers to the side. I'm going to try not to, oh jeez. Waylord EX and a divider. What is that in the front? That is a full art Dragonite. Uh, we have an Energy. Okay, Ghastly. Voltorb. Why do these have white marks on them? <gasps> these are the ones he was talking about that are misprinted. Look at this! Those are misprints? Look at this! That is a complete blotched out... There, there's no ink there. 
I've never seen this before. All of these are, oh, look at this growlith. Oh, what kind of printing error? That is so weird. This isn't what I thought it was at all. I gotta see about this. If someone might know something, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some searching to figure out what that's about. I've never seen that. We got some Hollow Energies here: Reverse Hollow Charmander, Radicate Starmie, Electrode, Clefairy, Doug Trio, Dugong, Magneton, Pikachu. Are these also? I don't think he said there were some ones that had errors in them, but I don't think these are part of it. Uh, we got some Mewtwo's in here. And there's a Reverse Mewtwo, Clefairy, Hitmonchan, Polyrath, Polyrath. Uh, we got Mew, Flying Pikachu, Serving Pikachu, here comes Team Rocket, uh, Executor, Imakuni's Doduos, we also have some Ultra Rares, we got some Starmie Breaks, Nidoking Breaks, Slowbro and Mega Slowbro, uh. <laughs> Mega Venusaur, Dragonite EX, Blastoise EX, Full Art Pidgeot and Mega Pidgeot EX, Mega Blastoise EX, Full Art Mewtwo EX, and Full Art Dragonite EX. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is just mind-blowing. I can't believe he sent all of this stuff. Oh, I, I, I'm in total shock right now. Look at all these ultra rares here. I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. This is just super, super generous and so amazing. Like, I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just sitting here in the chair like, wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much, Derek. This is just unbelievable of you. I know I'm rambling on here, but it's not like this has ever happened like on this level before. No, no, not at all. I'm so glad that you're back into collecting and playing cards, but at the same time, do you even have any left? <laughs> I mean, this is your entire collection from what I read off the note. Oh man, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like this is this is going to help the channel a lot. And with these bulk cards that we can we can put towards Sun and Moon Base, um, we have now cards that we can actually put into our, our our competitive decks. We can actually add some full arts to stuff like this Dragonite, for instance, and the Mewtwo for N. All this stuff is just so useful. Wait, Mewtwo for me. Yeah, didn't you say you wanted to put Mewtwo in it? In something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You can use it. That's what I'm saying. It's a full art you can use. Oh, great. So, yeah. Thank you so, so much, Derek. If you guys enjoyed this epic, super generous video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more content, and again, shout out to Derek for this just oh, yeah. unbelievable. He's amazing. He's amazing. Uh, and I don't even know where he lives. Like, no return address, nothing. I can't even send a thank you note or anything. But thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say. I mean, uh, oh my gosh. Unbelievable how generous you guys are. I mean, every one of you really has just been amazing to us. And this one is just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Anyways, guys, I can ramble on forever, but we don't want to do that because we've already got a long video as it oh, is. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 41 minutes, it looks like, something like that. It's definitely a long one, but hey, we have to show off everything. I mean, this is just unbelievable. So thank you guys for watching, and we hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Professor K. And I'm Professor A. For the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and we will see you guys later. You all take care. Have a great day. Now let's end this with the Helioptile song. No. Helioptile. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.